Dopamine Brain Food is a natural food supplement developed to help you increase your dopamine levels, which may result in more motivation, better focus, and more mental clarity. But can this supplement really boost your dopamine levels? Well, I decided to try this nootropic to see how effective it actually is. Let's find out what happened. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg and I'm a certified brain health professional. On this channel, we help professionals achieve peak brain performance. So if this interested, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. In this video, I'm going to review Dopamine Brain Boost. I'm going to talk about its benefits, side effects, optimal dosage. I'm going to share my experience with you. And at the end, I'm going to share with you who will probably benefit from this supplement the most and who won't get any real effects. Now, as the name says, Dopamine Brain Boost is a supplement designed to boost your dopamine levels and to support your mental drive. As you probably know, higher dopamine levels are associated with better focus, higher motivation and more mental drive. But having too much dopamine can make you very aggressive, overcompetitive and impulsive. So you shouldn't just swallow all the pills in this supplement. And there's one other, even bigger problem with high dopamine levels that you should be aware of. We'll talk about it soon. First, how does dopamine brain food support the body's natural production of dopamine? Well, it does that by providing nootropics and vitamins that play an important role in the production of this neurotransmitter. The two crucial compounds in this stack are L-tyrosine and L-phenylalanine, both precursors of dopamine. When you consume one or both of these two precursors, they'll turn into dopamine, which is a metabolic precursor for noradrenaline and adrenaline. Now, before we talk about what actually happens when you take the supplement, let's understand more about the formula. Dopamine brain food contains 650 mg of L-tyrosine, which is just in the spectrum of 500 mg to 2 grams, which is the recommended daily intake. Now, multiple studies show that supplementing L-tyrosine can improve mental performance, attention, and even memory. For example, this study found that supplementing L-tyrosine is extremely beneficial for improving mental performance in sleep-deprived people. This other study showed that supplementing L-tyrosine can improve memory in people under severe stress. But there are three issues with that. First of all, the best results have been noted mainly during acute use. This means that you need to take L-tyrosine about 30 to 60 minutes before a demanding activity. L-tyrosine remains peaked in your body for about 2 to 4 hours after ingestion. The other issue is that for improving mental performance, an acetyl L-tyrosine seems to be more bioavailable than the standard L-tyrosine. And the third challenge is that dosages of L-tyrosine in studies were much higher, usually at around 100 mg per kilogram of body weight. For me personally, this means I'd need to take about 8 grams of L-tyrosine and not 650 milligrams. But we'll get back to that later on. Now, another crucial compound for dopamine production is L-phenylalanine. This is an amino acid that our body cannot make on its own, so we need to obtain it from food or a supplement. Unlike with L-tyrosine, there are fewer studies done on phenylalanine. The fact is that the vast majority of people can obtain more than enough phenylalanine through a diet. Now, phenylalanine is present in legumes, seeds, nuts, soy products, whole grains, but also in meat, dairy, and eggs. So generally, it's not really important to supplement it. However, some supplement brands use L-phenylalanine in their supplements, which can help in the production of dopamine. Besides these two main compounds, dopamine brain food also contains a few crucial B vitamins, vitamin C, TMG, which is a compound most known for its ability to increase muscle size and endurance in athletes. Now, TMG, for example, has been added to this formula to support the metabolic reactions. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Okay, now we know more about the ingredients, but what does actually happen when you take the capsules? So I did my first test in around 2018, and I recently decided to conduct another test of dopamine brain food. So I'm going to try three capsules of dopamine brain food. Now, it's been years since I tried this supplement for the first time. And back then, I remember I kind of liked the effects, even though they were pretty weak. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens today. Um, I'm really looking forward to see if something improves, how my performance changes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start with first capsule. Mm. And then two more. Um, I have to tell you, the smell is kind of weird. And the capsules are relatively big. 
but yeah, I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, so let me try two more and um, then see what happens. So I've been taking three capsules of dopamine brain food for about a week. Now, the first thing I need to say is that I've done multiple tests in the last years of various dopamine boosting supplements. And what I know is that my normal dopamine levels are quite high. So I generally know that I don't react that well to dopamine precursors. So please keep that in mind. Now, due to my high dopamine levels, I didn't experience any amazing benefits from dopamine brain food, but that doesn't mean you won't get any effects. Now, taking dopamine brain food did help me get rid of brain fog on one day when I woke up tired after a long mountain bike trip the previous day. On that day, I definitely noticed an effect, but on the other days, I felt good, but I didn't notice a significant impact. However, when I felt the effect, they lasted for about three hours, give or take. Now, based on my research and experience with dopamine brain food, I definitely believe it can actually help people enhance their focus and improve their mental performance if their dopamine levels are too low. Now, how do you know that? Well, if you have a low sex drive, if you can't focus, if you lack motivation, if you feel moody, then you may suffer from low dopamine levels. But if your dopamine levels are very high, you probably won't experience any positive effects from dopamine brain boost, and you probably don't need such a supplement anyway. Now, just before I share one important secret about dopamine, let's check out the optimal dosage and potential side effects of dopamine brain boost. So, the optimal dosage are two to three capsules daily. Now, I wouldn't take more than this due to the very high levels of vitamin B12. You can start the test by taking two caps daily and then increase the dosage to three capsules if needed. Now, you don't necessarily have to cycle this supplement, but as I recommend with other stacks, I think it is still better to take it for five days in a row and then stay two days off. Now, this supplement looks very safe, so you shouldn't worry about these side effects. But if your dopamine levels are extremely high, then you can experience issues with hyperactivity, agitation, and anxiety. In the beginning of this video, I told you about one issue with dopamine, and this is that too high dopamine levels will decrease serotonin levels. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter important for well-being and sleeping. So if you take too much dopamine, you may be able to increase your focus, but you won't be in a good mood anymore. Sometimes people confuse dopamine and serotonin, and they believe they need more dopamine, but in reality, they need more serotonin. So you need to think about that for a second. If you're unsure if this product, for example, is the right for you, go for a free brain assessment. There's a link in the description below and we'll recommend the best nootropic stack for your needs. By the way, when I wanted to check the reviews of others trying dopamine brain boost supplement, I saw this. Dopamine not working very well. Now I know this is a bug that should happen, but just keep in mind there's nothing wrong with this supplement, but it is just not the right one for everyone. So to my verdict, at $39.95, dopamine brain food is not a really affordable brain supplement that everyone should take. But if you believe your dopamine levels are too low, then you should definitely give it a try. And to get a special discount, you can use our discount code, which you can find in the description below. Since it seems like you often suffer from brain fog and crave more mental power, you should watch my next video up here to learn how to get rid of brain fog and boost brain performance once and for all. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.